What's up, everyone? Welcome to my Christmas special. Oh my God, I cannot believe that this might officially be my last podcast in 2022. And I saved the best for the last, Aww. guys, because my guest today is my secret 911, my... <laughs> My bae, my ride or die. I think I'm much closer to you than you think I'm. You, to, I always say this. I feel like Belinto, guys. Bolinto, aka Bay Linto. Because she's my bae. Now, I always say this to you. I feel like I over exaggerate our friendship. That's not true. I think I do. No, it's just that, you know, you are more emotional and I am not as emotional. Like, you're more expressive with okay. like feelings and everything like that. And I'm okay. a bit more like. La 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 la. But what I was also trying to say is that I, I, in my head, we might not, and I like uh, spirit, our spiritual connection. Yes. I like our emotional connection, mm-hmm. and I like our work life connection. Yeah. We met at work, literally, and we've always had this relationship where we literally always sort of pull each other up. I yeah. remember when I was that girl that you guys thought was obsessed with social media. <laughs> and I'm like, Balali, why are you not getting your social media ups up? You got to do this. You Look, do I always tell people that Toke was my social media introduction. And if not for her, I wouldn't have jumped on social media as early as I did, yeah. which really gave me an edge. Because yeah. the minute I took it seriously... Like you said, it, it was like hello. It went off, yeah. And I remember Tucker would just be like, "Balani, you need to post." Like Balani, and we we would all be watching you like yeah. on set. People would be like, you know what's crazy? I was thinking about this the other day, and I was thinking about how much you were. You've been a pioneer in so many trends in this industry. Oh my god! And it's interesting because people don't give me my flowers. No, people love to drag you for for life, right? Yeah. But the reality is, a lot of the things that we do now. You were literally the first person to do it. Mm-hmm. Whether it's posting on social media. Do you remember when you used to post? What was that app? Hi. No, that one that's before Instagram where you talk to someone. Oh, I can't remember the name. What's the name? High Five? It wasn't no. High Five. It was, there was a, you were on it for like. We. Uh... <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and I remember because I used to watch your videos yeah. on it. Yeah. Doing makeup. Yeah. Taking headshots. Yeah. Toke was the best person yeah. to do. Probably Even getting like shots, stylist. Best, all of People it. People used to yeah. drag him like, why she gotta always go out? Why she always yeah. gotta be out? I remember one particular um, media personality who's, we've always had this love, hate, really, I don't, I honestly don't know what it is about. Um, you know, we went to university together actually oh, wow. and I remember she writing an article about me and, and was this whole oh, makeup, yeah. this whatever. And then I look at her today and I see styled by makeup. I'm like, and it really just shows you that in this life, yeah, you do you, you be yourself. The and world the world will adjust. adjust. I always used to say that. The world will adjust. That was like one of those iconic things that was always in my head. Right. I just wanted to be great. And I just thought, these people don't understand me. I'm probably weird to them, but I'm going to do me. Yeah. And they would adjust. And you, you saw ahead of yeah. what the world was becoming. I mean, thank you, Jesus, for that. You know, so yeah. I think I admire, that, I admire that so much about you. Thank you. Yeah, thank yeah, you yeah. so much. And so then, this is me being emotional. I'm being <laughs> like... <laughs> And then you know what? You've also always been that person that I can call. Like, you know how people will be like, this industry, they are no friends. Which, which you know, they are kind of fair to say because it's a business industry. Yes. But I like the fact that our connection over the years have has always been more. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, we might not see each other every day. We might not talk every day. Yeah. But you know a lot of things about me. I do. <laughs> I actually see you as a... When, you know when they say label your friends in different boxes? Yeah. I see you as a prayer partner. Yeah. I see you as a covenant keeper, like yeah. someone that I know that if, if I want to pray about something, yeah. I can call you yeah. Yeah. and we'll connect. And we've yeah. been through so much I together. Know. We really Meanwhile, have... I'm upset with you because you gave me some prophecy this year. <laughs> I was I talk, it wasn't me. You made me chop. <sighs> I delivered I delivered a message from someone that I felt was a credible person. Now the crazy thing is what the person said was very accurate. It was so accurate. It just didn't turn out. The way the it was way, supposed to. Because I remember where I was when that prophecy came. I was on the way to the airport. I remember that I was saying to you that yeah, I wasn't you told me sure. What was yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't sure about this individual. Yes. Because I was like, <laughs> and then Balas, Balali's prophecy went from. <laughs> and I said, like, ah, Jesus has approved, though. Let me just go. Um, my own more times, one I, billion. I, I cannot reiterate. <laughs> the other day, you know what's funny? We were talking about, and I was going to say, <laughs> I wish we could be as more elaborative <gasps> of what happened because there's a <gasps> prophecy school that I was saying talking that I went that I went through, and they had said that this is why you never prophesy on people's relationships, like mm-hmm. who people are gonna marry, children, 
timelines, none of that. And I sh- probably shouldn't have told you what this person said. Well, I know your message started with, I shouldn't do this, but it's not from you. Actually, it wasn't yet. You, uh, you took yourself out of the blame but, and said, oh, but, we are, we <laughs> but somebody in my church said, I should tell you this. But we're there, accurate, yeah. Too accurate. Down to, I know. I know. <laughs> too accurate. I mean, I, you sure said this, but, but no, no, the person will come, Professor. Do you know, do you know the other day I was thinking of? No, I'm not going to say that because this girl goes to my church. Let me just, she's not a fraud. She's not a fraud. She's not a fraud. No, she's, she's not a she fraud, but I'm not saying the guy is a fraud, but I'm saying that. Well, what you're saying is that she was in cahoots with the guy. Maybe she knows. So maybe the guy told somebody that he likes me. No, no. And then she thought about it and fell asleep and they saw us. What kind of calculating is that? Koyemu. Yeah, but that was. Shout out to all the pastors that have also prophesied. Another year is ending. Shay, you didn't want me. So we talk and I had a whole like long ass conversation about this the other day that 2022 has come and hey, coffee season is in coffin. Hey. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know how I feel about it too. I just have to try what I, I've been telling myself is be grateful. Like I'm yeah. trying to stay grateful. Yeah. And people always tell me like time will do what time is supposed to mm. do. I was watching a, a so, sermon by Pastor Darius. Darius, that's okay. his name. You should totally check him out really? on YouTube. I think Timisa hooked me up with oh, him. Nice. And he literally is preaching my life right now, this season of my life, you know, from friendships to spirituality. And mm-hmm. just yesterday, I was watching a sermon where he did say, you know, God is the author of time and his time and his kindness. And mm-hmm. God is going to do what he's going to do. But we need to also be flexible. Okay. Now, that was deep for me because me, I'm a control freak. Yeah. I like to be in control of where I'm at, yeah. what's going on. Where it's going to four must add to eight. Eight must be twelve before mm-hmm. I move. But yeah. then hearing him actually say that, you know, he talked about the whole Nazareth thing, how Jesus wasn't from Nazareth. Right. And Joseph stayed around, lived in Nazareth, which mm-hmm. is near because mm-hmm. he just didn't trust to go back right. after it all happened. And that's why they say Jesus is from Nazareth. And right. how going from Bethlehem, they went from this place, that place, that place. So Joseph had to be flexible. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If you we all have an idea of how we think God is gonna do it, but if we are stuck on that whole, this is how God is going to do it. Mm-hmm. We might not be flexible enough to, you know. I should keep my chest small with this word that you're giving me. I, I change your prophecy, <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. And I, I fully agree. I think, and I don't know if people understand, know what the context of what we're talking about. Do they know the specific? Because we're talking like, we're, we're talking to ourselves. We're forgetting that we have an audience. Right. This is what always happens when we're on the phone. So what we're talking about is, Things of the heart, yeah, right, you yeah, know, like relationships, yeah. like even like work, even work like, stuff. yeah, even work stuff, like yeah. just having the sixth sense, yeah, or having you know whatever. So being flexible for me is now what I'm going into 2023 understanding Fair. that God is not looking for me to even repent. It's not about repent, re- mm. repenting. It's about letting go, definitely. And so, that's the word for my. I'm season. not gonna lie, Sha. That's one thing that, like, in the last three to four years of my life, has been letting go, like that place where. I know I'm a huge control freak, especially I think a lot of us who work in this industry are actually control freaks mm-hmm. because we're very calculated, we're very determined. And the industry has you constantly thinking on how to get to the next level, get Rat the race. next gig. So this is the way I've always seen it. And I think that God has always just really tried to sober me up is that my life belongs to God. My gifts belong to God. My talents belong to God. And I have, I have to learn how to trust God mm. to be the manager of my life, to mm. be the manager of my career, mm. which is what I say that the minute I started doing that. So, Tucker, this would look like, you know, someone calls me for a job and then Holy Spirit is like, don't take it. And I'm like, you said what? You know? And I'm like, they, they're going to pay me what? And God's like, leave it, let it go. And it's crazy because I actually started my career like that. I remember I was actually supposed to be in before 30. This was years you told ago. Me story. Yeah. And I, hadn't, I didn't have a job. I was done with NYC. I was looking for, you know, work. And I auditioned for before 30 and they casted me. I, I was supposed to play one of the characters. I can't remember which character. Um, and, you know, the Holy Spirit told me, like, that's not for you. Let it go. And then I was like, this is, what are we talking about? Especially, mm. like, my relationship with God was very, it was different. It wasn't mm. as intimate as it was now. But I knew it wasn't for me. And I let it go not knowing that I had anything else. And it's interesting because ever since then, every year, God is always pushing me to, into a place of deep trust. Mm. like. Can you let go of things that look beautiful? Can even though you don't know something else is coming? No, sometimes I want to rationalize and I'm like, ah, maybe if I go on that trip, there will be a plane crash. And sometimes God's like, it might not be a plane crash. I just, I just said wait. no. I just said no yeah. because I, we're trying to trust, right? Yeah. You say yeah. your life belongs to me. 
So show up. Mm. You know, you're preaching to me right now. And this is so funny uh, because we've not even scratched the topic of what we actually want to talk about. Which but this just... is exactly <laughs> what we're like. Yeah. And I also feel like, you know, when just you took me down memory lane when I started out as well. You, you know, I lived the life of childlike faith. Mm. Jesus, tell me what's next. Tell me hmm. what's going on. Tell me. At some point, success came. And without you knowing, you now forget who the source is. Right. And start to think, oh, two would add to four because I know that this is how it works. Yeah. Forgetting that, no, that's not your life. God has right. purposely made people fail me because he needs to let me be reminded yeah. that it's not about them. I got you. Mm -hmm. And beginning of this year, I was walking into the radio station and I heard, you know, whenever I say I hear from the Holy Spirit, I know people be like, she be, you know, revealing our faith and she'd be twerking <laughs> online and she'd be doing this. But listen, God and I, we like this. Don't judge me because when we get to heaven, oh my, if you see the where I'm going to be, be well, well, shock. Do you yeah. understand? <laughs> While we leave the club, I'm still up to 7 a.m. praying. <laughs> Oh, no, I get home. Why are you drinking? What's the Holy Spirit's job? Oh, I'm like, I'm a for me. You're like in the club speaking in tongues. You know, you know. I've been on trips where I'm fasting. Like, I remember when I went on a girl's trip and I was fasting the whole time and yeah. they thought I was crazy. You know, but then that's not about that. I remember the, the voice saying to me, um, you think you've arrived? Wow. Now you, you are in, in total control of your life, aren't you? And it took me back to those days where, just as you said, it was like every single part of my life. I remember I used to have a mug at the beginning of the year, mm -hmm. empty, and I'll put it up on the cupboard and everything God does for me, I used to write it, roll it up and right. put it there. Right. And at the end of each year, I'll bring down the mug just to see how good oh, God has so good. been. I I've stopped doing it. I had become complex into thinking this is how my life works. Mm. But you see what God did to me this year? Ah, oh, shock. Shake yeah, it. It's Shege management. <laughs> when the Lord told me, I did not know he was about to remind me. But I'm grateful that even in his reminding me, yeah. he showed me mercy. Aww. I'm grateful that every time I thought, I'm not even lying this year. Every you time. Like you had a hard year. Oh, mentally I did. Yeah. Mentally. I think the only thing that really popped in my life this year was financially. I'm not even going to lie. I lost someone very dear to me last year. Yeah, it's just yeah. being a mental people showed themselves a lot this year. Yeah. It's like, I thought I was finally surrounded by people I love. The Holy Spirit is like, ah, I knew it's shame me. Why? Yeah. As I'm like, ha, ah, God. Oh. I'm like, ha, ah, God. And it's like, you had to step out each day looking pretty, wearing makeup, and no one knew. And that's the thing. Half one of thing what... Shao says, I, you are the master of pulling up your big girl pants and going. This year I struggled. You know. I'm not even going to lie. Yeah. This year I, I, I had so many moments where I was like, go take the fame. If this is just take it all the way because wow. people were showing themselves so much that mm -hmm. I was just like I know I, I just want to go back to being who I was mm -hmm. where it was all about me and you and I think I'm I'm getting there I feel like the later part of this year you know beyond all the disappointments and I also think that because I was also trying to author my life in terms of being in control of time and chance yeah. I tried to force certain things even some relationships because now I can laugh about that situation yeah, that happened that was rough. even if Two, a couple of months yeah, it was like ago, two, three months ago, it was a bit, you know. But yeah. I can laugh now because the other day I said to my sister, "Imagine if God actually said this is the one." Ha! Ah! I would say, "Father, you don't like me." Hmm. You know. Now it took me going through it, which is why I understand that life is lived forward but understood backward. Hmm. We never really understand what we're going through till we're out of that season. Almost oh, definitely. And then you're like, "Whew! Thank God that." Did most not definitely. Work out. Like, yeah. but you know, I'm not gonna lie, Sha. I think for me, I'm over lessons. Like I'm not, I'm not, I'm really not trying to. Just for I'm not trying to do any lessons, which is why, like these days, I try as much as possible to really listen mm. and to trust, and also to really just be thankful, mm. but really not jump over myself. Mm. Like I'm tired of the lessons. I'm tired of. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to be strongest soldier. Like I'm not doing. That I'm, no I'm more. selling stress now. I wear that like a badge. I'm not, like, I'm not Lord, I'm telling. No please let this year be the last year that you test me with certain things. Yeah. You know, but I also feel like you know the way it works. I don't think God is purposely testing us. I feel like if we never pass the class, we'll keep repeating the test. Exactly. So I'm also trying to check myself to see. Okay, you wear your hat on your sleeve. I don't want to change who I am, but I also want to understand that, Lord. Sometimes I feel guilty. And I think this is what mm. religion does. Where you feel like, ah, 
if you do I this, can adjust myself while she's talking to me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Where if you feel like if you do this, maybe God will be angry. Right. The other day, my younger sister had to give me a pep talk of life. You know, she she she's a soldier. Yeah, she is. She's like, you know, you have a God complex, okay? Really? She said, I do. She said, let me tell you why. Because you're always trying to, what would Jesus do? You're not Jesus. Jesus died but for wait, the world. Wait, do you wait. have to die? Wait, the thing about it is though, don't you think that that is you wanting to have a servant heart towards God's will? There is a difference. Let me tell you what I understand. She now said, when she made me, when she mirrored my life to me, I understood what she was trying to say. I understand that childlike, servant-like God, I just want to mm-hmm. please you. But, you know, at some point, we now forget, Joyce Mayer said this a long time ago, that even when it came to giving, she got so carried away that she would just give without asking the Holy Spirit, did you really want me to right, give this person? Right. So sometimes we now begin to think that if we don't do it, God will be angry with yes. us. And then we now begin to see God as this dictator that, ah, the only reason why I'm being right. because I don't want God's wrath. Yeah. I don't want God. But yeah. she said, God has died for you. He has finished the work on the right. cross. Why do you need to die for people? I, she didn't right. say to me, she said, this time around, tell God, God, I'm angry. Fuck that person too. I'm coming to heaven. <laughs> She's like, well, boundaries. Kill on Jebe. What do you mean? So I'll talk to you. One minute, you'll be like, okay, I'll head next minute. You'll say, hey, I just thought, what would Jesus do? What would Jesus do? That's why they are putting their hands inside your eye. Are you Jesus? <laughs> Clear your eye. We all meet at the yes, gate of, yes, at the yes, of yes, Jesus. Yes. I'll be like, Jesus, I know you. She said, before she does wickedness, she tells God, listen, God, you died so that I won't have to die. These people are coming after my life. <laughs> <laughs> your sister's doctrine is what guy? No, 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 no. Let me tell you something. That's the crazy thing, though. Like, with time as a Christian, and it's, it's okay, unfortunately, there's no way we're going to have a conversation and we're not going to talk about faith because that's just who we are. That's just who but we are. But with time as a Christian, I think what I'm also learning is one, I'm learning that people are who they are. And, and it's I mean, an imperfect world. Exactly. Mm. People are so broken. Now, how much grace I can apply to them, that's. That's by the spirit, right? Mm-hmm. Because again, like people are always like, oh, Belanya, you're so nice. Belanya, you're so nice. And I'm always like, they don't know you. You, you, <laughs> you, you. Like in another world, I would be a completely different person. Mm-hmm. But each year I find that things that I would not forgive, I'm forgiving. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? And then also I think talk about the thing with having enemies and surrounding ourselves with people. We also have to ask ourselves, why do we keep attracting such toxic people? That's where she was coming from. She yeah. wasn't trying to say, change yeah. yourself. She's like, the problem is that you have a God-like complex right. and you're living in a crazy world where people will exploit that. So stop thinking that you need to die for the world. Christ already died. Right. Do you understand? Right. You can be a Christian and you can have standards. You can be a Christian and have boundaries. You yeah. can be a Christian and be like, nah, we ain't going... You don't Holy need to lay on the road and let someone run you over, over and over again. Give me five minutes. I need to cross this picture because she, she <laughs> fucking with the wrong one. And then afterwards, I take my holiness and be like, we're back at where were we at? You oh know what I mean? God. No, but I understood. She wasn't trying to say change who you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was almost like sometimes people mistake that turn your other cheek to mean that you just, you know, don't give yourself room to feel what you feel. And what that happens is that you're not suffering from healing from things that people have moved on. Yeah. You're still dealing with it. You're like, still dealing with it. And not only that, I think you're also putting yourself in situations where they're not good for your mental health at all. You know, so like when it comes down to like, again, I think my biggest thing I've learned also this year is people are really who they are. There's some friends who I'm just like, you know what? It's cool. I'm going to put boundaries around our relationship. And that's who you are. That's what you are. Mm. I have all the love for you, but we're just going to put boundaries around this. Because if you look at it, that's probably why a lot of Christian women and Christian girls and church girls fall into a lot of trouble even in dating. Yes. You know what I mean? Because, no, I mean, I because had, we like to carry the cross that Christ already carried. Someone was telling me, one girl was telling me, she came to the salon and she was saying that, she was telling, rather, she was telling Zainab and she was saying that, you know, because of her faith, you know, the person that she was dating used that against her. Of course. And basically like, the mother was telling her that like, she should be doing night vigil with her for the son. Mind you, this girl is not married to this man. And I was just like, why are you doing night vigil mm. with someone's mother mm. for a guy that you mm. have no future commitment with? Or mm. you don't know if you're committed to? Mm. Some people might say you're laboring in love, but I'm sorry, no. Yeah. No? Yeah. Why? No? That's have you why, done night vigil for your own life? That's why people have things like bring you put the man's name to church, yeah. pray over our guys. That's why we also have guys who are in the closet who would rather <clears> pick <throat> some church girls. I mean, I love the gays. They know, I mean, I, I have a lot of gay friends, so this is not me trying to... But we live in a world where a lot of people who are not yet bold enough to live in their truth, you know, exist in a society where their truth is not even welcomed, would rather hide under the radar of finding church girls where they believe, after there's no sex before marriage, Abby. Those doctrines those that we hold to that ourselves. Use... And then you find that people now fall into those situations where yeah. they're like, I felt like I was supposed to save him. Which is, which, which is crazy because you cannot save anybody. Like, there's no human being, especially a grown-ass Human being, a grown ass adult. I 
I think for me, what really stresses me out, and this kind of leads to, I know what you want us to talk about, yeah. is there's a desperation for men. <sighs> there's like this deep desperation for men right now that all my male friends, like I have so many, I have guy friends who are just like, tomorrow, well, if I want to get married, tomorrow, I have five people that I can call and in three months, will be engaged. Six months, we'll be married. A young mammy has made it worse. <sighs> she has. I, I love young Miami. So, and I like the situation of, uh, he's just my papito. I'm, she, she, my shorty, whoop, whoop. It's cute. She's getting the podcast. She's getting the brand. She's getting all of these things. But I also feel like the ripple effect of that is, it's always been, people have always had friends with benefit situation. Yeah. But now, it's now like, this label, no label thing is going to be raised to Let me tell you something. Power, okay. 10, the irony of it is I'm on the other side. That whole time that we were doing shoddy work, we just friends, that's my boo. I never, I was just looking at it, I was just like, this thing will end in tears. The reason why I say that is because sometimes, Didi is, what, Didi's how many years older than Miami? He's like, 20, 20 something. something. She's 25. You're playing a game with someone that has been playing a game for years. There was no level of pussy. There was no level of city girls. There was no level of I know what I'm doing that was going to trump bad boy. What Diddy era. was going to do. Yeah. Yeah. And Diddy knew that. Yeah. There's a level of, and I'm I, I think as I get older, I realize how much until you get older, you can never understand what it means when people so give do you advice as a young age that is making because no matter when I see the young Miami Diddy thing, I know she tries to put up this. So I ain't really bothered. I'm she getting bothered. my bag. Someone that was tweeting for well, how many you're days? Always fighting on Twitter when someone comes for you. And did you say she recently was thank you next? <sighs> so why did you say thank you next if you were just friends? I know what's painful. Even if you're going to even have something to do with a guy, at least let there be small respect. That will go give me six months of at least. <laughs> you, yeah, yeah, but that's how I would okay, do it. Like give me six months saying. of just you and I. Like this nigga is like popping girls out every other. <laughs> What I'm saying is that you were trying to play a game with someone that wasn't playing a game with you. You knew he had three other girls. Miami, where were your three other guys? Where were your three other guys? Why were I would have loved for her to also be taking pictures of other guys saying. as he's doing with girls like, and then we're like, okay, we're all just playing with each other. Anyways. That's what I'm saying. Like at the end of the day, if you're gonna play this guy's game, play it. Because the thing is, the whole situation, I am I didn't like it at all. I thought yeah. it was very silly. Like I was just I like, know what, what breaks I get it. Do. The podcast, I get it. You know, I get it though. Let's 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 now go back to the objective perspective mm -hmm. this is Puff Daddy when okay. Puff Daddy was Puff Daddy this girl was in diapers you now as you are young Miami you've come into this place where you're like oh damn I'm a legit celebrity Yeah. next thing you know like damn Diddy yeah. wants me my god Diddy's posting me it validated her like yeah people will say City Girls were like a big deal I, I was about to say City that girls, I thought she didn't need are, that validation okay, no. they weren't they're not a lot of people won't see them as like artists the industry wouldn't yeah. see them it's as... It's the same probably, thing as what yeah. Kanye did to Kim's career. Like, it made Kim... Go to the next level. The next level. Yeah. So she yeah. knew what she was doing. She just stopped playing a game. She mm. got her feelings involved. But do you think it's possible for a man and a woman to be like that and not one party will fall in love? When you're having sex, no. Because for the whole city girl thing that she's always saying, is a letdown if she's crying, no? She's crying. What's that you saying? If. Someone that said, thank you, next. <laughs> I'm not laughing at her grief. I beg. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you know what is so interesting is we live in very interesting times because you mentioned the fact that men are now like the prize. Right. Like, yeah, I didn't even think about it as you said it, like Didi, Uluwa Didi, Puff Daddy. I don't yeah. know. What. Toke, you can I ask you that? If Puff Daddy comes to you and says, Toke, let's, let's go on a date. Let's, let's do photo op. Let's do one day photo op. No, but op. let me tell you, if I'm seeing me a young Miami show. Yeah. I will do it, but at least I will tell him that, okay, no problem. You know, I'll, I'll bring the whole African continent to the side. <laughs> so let's, if we're leaving a contract, let's talk contract legit. Because that's what you're Give me to at least yeah. four months so that it will help my career very well. Yeah. Of exclusives. You know, yeah. don't just be don't posting with two other L. girls. Because now it now becomes so random if there are three girls three days later, yeah, yeah, yeah. four girls. If we're going to sit down and have the contract, what is in it for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want the African continent. You want us to really embrace. Okay, no problem. Let's date. But please, let's, the way they say Laurie Harvey has NDA sign. Do you let's think that sign is that. true? I think it's true. Because Shit. that's why nobody knows what happens in a relationship. That's true. Let's do this six month thing. At yeah. least six months of, I get allowance, I get a show, I do all And then in return, that six months, at least try and let it be exclusive. Uh, let them use So that. after six months is over, then we can create a story to break up. Mm -hmm. Then you can move on to your next bit. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I feel like it doesn't really validate what's supposed to validate. If there's like every market day, there's a different bit. Let me tell you what happened though. It wasn't like that before. It seemed as though 
maybe behind closed doors, something happened and Miami was becoming more demanding than the situation. No, let me tell you, my, let me tell you what I think my theory is. I don't mean to cut you short. I yeah. feel like when he lost Kim, okay. he clearly hit a, oh a bottom gosh, of... Oh gosh, okay, please. He what? had left Kim years ago. I know, I know. Nobody, like, I'm not, I'm not empathetic. Like that. I'm not empathetic. You didn't okay. even let me... I feel oh, like yeah, yeah, land, land, when land. he lost her, you know how men don't... Half of them, not generalizing, you don't have to say, you don't know the value of what you have yeah, until you lose yeah, it. Yeah. All of a sudden, then you realize that Damn, this was the one true love I ever had. And right. I misused, mistrusted, misbroke, right. showed her shaggy through right. my lifetime. Yeah. He went through all of that. Cassie was not serving the purpose that Cassie was supposed to be serving. Man, the girl bounced. The girl I bounced. think Cassie leaving Didi left such a dent on his ego, ego. that he feels yes. like he must be with 10 girls. So that if one is leaving, there'll be nine. Yes. So in Miami, he's saying thank you next. That's why every three days, there's a You know what? And that reminds me of someone hey. who's doing the same thing in Nigeria. <laughs> so for me, Joe. <laughs> Your mom was drag me. Wait, so Didi, <laughs> move, moving girls in Nigeria. Do they all know about themselves? Yes. So there's a Didi and Mam- Young Miami situation yes. in Nigeria. Not a Didi and Young Miami. It's a bit more official. Oh, so he's officially with one person, but he be no. He's married to multiple people. Married in this Why country. Why are you being so slow? Everybody here gets it. <laughs> okay, pause, and then we'll come back. To- oh, yeah, because that's exactly what happened. That's I hear that because that one left. Yeah. You know, yeah. I was about to just talk about my, <laughs> my, you know, you know my history with that situation, right? No, no, you... we don't have any history. M- myself and, I mean, hosted a friend's wedding. We were okay. both MCs at the wedding, and that's how I met him. Yeah, <gasps> this was before all of this happened, and you know, he used to tease me. We just used to have this tease, tease relationship. Okay, but I mean, I don't want the blocks to start paying me. And this is the. <laughs> 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 Yeah. No, but then truly, I feel like that's what it is. And and then also, I'm not going to lie. Like, I think, yeah, there's a lot of men are the cookie right now. Like, women are chasing men in ways that I really think y'all, we, y'all, need, I don't do it. Y'all need to stop. Yeah. And then, you know, when you now come out and you have standards, people look at you like you're difficult. Yeah. Like because you, you're, just like you said, you chatted with a group of, I was out with my guy friends the other night and the things they were saying broke my heart. They said, no, it. Five of my guy friends were saying to me that sex is the cheapest thing any girl can offer a guy right now. Right. Sex is, they said, is that if I want to shag every day, if I want to shag three times every day. Are you serious? It's like this. So what do you think happened? I feel like it might be end times, which I've, I've, I strongly believe that right. nine to people are laughing at me, but I think that seven to one thing is true. When the Bible said it, why are you people laughing? The, no, the seven, to one, the seven to one thing is the seven to one thing. It feels true. Yeah, because it says at the end of and the end of days, women shall beg him. We don't even want anything. We sh- we just want to just have your, your name. name. We shall take care of ourselves. Oh, Shelley. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I feel like that's also. It. And I also think that a lot of a lot of what. I don't want to say morals because I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not here to judge anybody. Mm. But a lot of what relationships and marriage used to be edged on mm-hmm. no longer exists. Right. The generation before us, I used to say to this, my older friends, you know, they feared their parents. If you were married to a guy that goes to report you in the family, your own has finished. Yes. Family meeting will call your father. How dare you do this? How dare you? Shame now, us. mental health, we are coming, yes. please, 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 please. <laughs> You know, so there's nobody that anybody reports to anymore. People don't value people. They value things. Things. There's no accountability. And now everybody too has seen Shege that everybody's just going for what I can get. So they don't care. You tell a girl, I have a girl. She's like, so in no time, you're going to forget her. And then also there's a level of financial freedom that people have. So now because of people have a lot more, especially women, have a lot more financial freedom and financial options. But I think that's what will make us no one to settle for less though. Well, that's also why people are leaving marriages as well, right? Because you're just kind of like, actually, you know what? I don't have to take this, you know? So there's a flip side of, yeah, some people, I think because of children, you'll find a lot of women entering situations they don't want to. Because you think want to have children. Yes. people. A lot of people still want that. They might not want the ideal structure of a, you know, a relationship, mm. Mm. but they want to be able to say, I want to have a child. So what do I need to do? I don't really want to have this child by myself. Okay, let me just enter this marriage. We'll do a few years. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I but at least I have my child. I agree. But I think we're forgetting one major factor. I think we are forgetting that everybody wants to date in the same setting. And that's part of the problem. Western world, look at America now. Half of the guys that you term as good guys mm. are only maybe 30% yeah. maximum. 
a lot of guys are in jail. Yes, a especially for of, black people. Do you understand? A, a lot of, you know, family dysfunction. Like, you know, people There's a lot of baby mama, a lot baby of baby mamas. And then even in, even in the, forget black, even in the white world as well. Yeah. Like people want a certain level of, because we are financially free, we're also looking for successful guys. Yes. Now those successful guys, it's, an, it's a little small No, because pool. unfortunately what's also happened, and I think this is where society, and I don't know how this happened, is for some reason... Men were not raised, they're not raised to match where women are. And they're women are, mentally. yeah, women are constantly mentally evolving and growing and challenging themselves. Now, because of the idea of masculinity has always been provide, mm -hmm. provide. So men have not been challenged to really work on their mental intelligence, their emotional intelligence mm. and their growth. Mm. It's just happening now. Whereas women have always been emotional. Like we're always in our feelings. And I say this not to knock men because I know you guys have it hard, right? Yeah. What happened is men have not been asked to ask themselves, you know, how am I feeling and how can I become a better version yeah. of myself? Yeah. Literally, society judges men based on, do you have money? Mm -hmm. Do you have money? Do you have money? That's it. So, Which is why a lot of suicidal men... Yeah, don't they don't have out. any way to express yeah. themselves emotionally. It's this deemed that. So now weak. women are now asking for something more than do you have money? Mm. They're asking for, do we emotionally connect? Mm. Are you my partner? Mm. Can I express my feelings to you and you can express it back? Mm. Are you a present dad? Mm. Like most of us, if you think... and I mean, generally, in our parents' generation, fathers, I pay school fees. I pay for rent. I gave you pocket That's money. It. That's it. Mm -hmm. Women did the emotional upbringing and women focused more on women because guys were allowed to sleep into whatever time. Exactly. Guys were allowed so to talk whatever. So those guys that watch their fathers be absent have grown up and were supposed to now meet us on an emotional mm -hmm. level. They're emotionally absent. They're emotionally yeah. absent. And then instead of them facing themselves, they'd rather run around and find another person who is not demanding for them to be the man that you're demanding for them to be. Exactly. And then when that person also becomes that person who is demanding, then they move on. Whew, so, circle. so, so a lot of women were now in a crab, were like in a bowl and a bunch of crabs just trying to be like, get that one man, two men, that three men that are emotionally present. Yeah. And they're not that yeah. many. You and know, again, not to knock you guys. I know yeah, you guys yeah, Back to even Young Miami, I, you know, I always looked at her as someone, I understand, the, I get what you said about Didi, all these accolades, Puff Daddy, whatever. But I look at her as such a beautiful She's girl. She's so gorgeous. And I feel like the fact that she was not regular I'm not trying to call any girl regular. What I'm trying to say is like, she had She's gotten, a babe now. She's established. No, she, it, she had gotten to work on her craft to a certain level. Didi wasn't seeing an Instagram model. Mm -mm. He wasn't seeing a girl who is just posting pictures because, or, you know, there are people who that's what they want to do. They're looking for ballers and they're mm -hmm. just like, hey, pick me up. I'm a hanger with you. He was seeing a city girl. Mm -hmm. Like it or not, they had records. They, they were. They had yeah, become... But, what I'm trying to say is I feel like sometimes it's also a level of lack of self-awareness that makes a woman not see who she is because you're in awe of how mighty this guy is. Yes. But babe, like you're not, you you're, know, you're, you're a young like, Miami. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Also, I think there's a huge part where until you understand yourself emotionally and you understand that you're fully whole without a man, you can be the richest woman in the world and still take BS. You understand? Like, but in our world, that might not be BS, so A girl will sit down here, show all these American, they'll sit down here and tell you, I'm getting the bag. I'm that's yeah, how but they, now, those are the okay, so they like, like, let's just look at this. Everyone was hailing her, you're getting the bag, you're getting the bag. But you're now left with emotions that you don't want. You're left with feelings of rejection. And you're ranting on Twitter, you. Ugh, you're abusing people over a man. Like, no, let me tell you the one that broke me. No, was she babe, and that you're girl, beyond that. The Asian girl. They were not and dragging they, each other. You're throwing racial slurs. slurs. Like, and I'm just like, you're actually tainting. This guy has now allowed you to taint your career in a way. And he's literally indifferent. Taking pictures oh no, with new girls. In defense to another guy. Yeah, but then my two days cheat. after that, day one, we saw another babe with him. Day two, we saw another yes, babe with him. Yes, day had a babe with him. Exactly. That's not sensitive. And then why do so, women do that? Why do we now focus on ourselves? And the person you should be mad at, the whole time he was plastering your face and doing shoddy work work, yeah, somebody was shoddy, pregnant blah, blah. for him. And the person that I feel like we should be mad at, but we can't be mad at because the guy said they were not together. Exactly, right. which is why. I mean, like, you know, uh, no, 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 no. The worst one, the worst one. Let me Do you tell remember you. The, gist the, chop, the gist you gave me. The Ella. Let me tell you where you like. So there's there's some books that women need to read just so that they understand how to relate to human beings, especially these male species. When it comes to being entitled to something that you're not, that nobody has put a label on. That's why people are like, oh, I don't really like labels. I'm like, baby, you better like labels because that's when you have to you have the ability to hold someone accountable. True. Okay. 
No problem. She be, we're just kicking it. We're just cool. She said we go together. Oh, yeah, now. Bed. Ask the person to show up for you on times that are important. He'll be like, oh, you know, I wasn't able to do that because we're X, Y, Z. We're dating. We're not dating. Hey! You can't demand. Hey. You can't make any demands if you have no labels. I hate when people go ahead with this whole, let's be friends, and you go ahead with it knowing deep down that you want more. You want more. Do you understand? And then you're trying to just see if you want to be friends. And then before you know what's going on, the person has exempted themselves of any accountability, as exactly. Balani has said, because they've told you we're just friends. But also these guys, they, they say that, but they also not give you or act like, like a nigga will say, let's just be friends, but will be saying, why didn't you call me? Or be saying, where are you? Why didn't you tell me you're going out? Like, <laughs> exactly. It's a game now. Tried, I, it's a game I remember now. I was talking to this particular guy and we were friends. He just wasn't, we were just friends. But then I noticed that he now started to want to be like, you're out. Oh, you didn't let me know you were going out. And then I'm like... Do you think I was being sincere he was playing it? You know, it's, I actually brought it up one day. I was mm-hmm. like, dude, we're just friends, right? He's like, yeah. You know, then he now tried to do this whole... Everything great starts from friendship. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. 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 So it's like, yeah, that's, you know, I, I don't like, to, <laughs> I don't, <laughs> yeah. What? I feel like if we put labels on it, like things get crazy. Like, uh, I feel like every great thing starts from friendship. Like, I want to, I've done it differently all my life. I've done this so well. Right now, I want to just befriend someone and possibly see where it leads to. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm like, Oh, that's fair. But in my world, I am seeing you as a friend because once we had this conversation, every romantic feeling, whatever flew out the But were you guys intimate? No. Oh, so so where was the entitlement from? Come from. Uh, They're trying to mess with your psyche. That's totally different. That's totally different. I the one Me at my old age, you think if I want to be intimate with someone that does not want us to that it's not you that even tell me let's just be friends. It's the other way around. Do you understand? (laughs) But this guy, I was okay with us just being friends because I thought that was the vibe. Yeah. Yeah. But then when you now start saying things, who you out with? You didn't tell me, call me before you go to bed. I, I will purposely not call to prove a point. Wait, oh, Benny. Yeah, but I think that's him saying that he wants more from you. Uh, uh, this, what did you just say here? But okay. Lab, if you don't label it, I'm not the one that's good. I'm not your mother. I'm not going to drag out of your mouth. Okay, so no. can I just say this though? I actually realize that there's some men who don't realize that they have to say they like you and want to be with you. Then sorry, go to school and learn how to yeah, say it. That's, yeah, that's because I'm, I'm, not, I'm saying this in his defense that it sounds like, the reason why I'm saying this is we ask people to do this. When they do this, we say, they're not, do, they not t- doing it no, correctly. But let me tell you what. See, our experience makes us speak from the things that we've been through. Mm. And yeah, I'm not trying to say that I'm speaking from a broken place, but I'm telling you what this screamed to me. This screamed to me as putting my feet in, running out. Putting my okay. feet in, running out. I'll tell you why. We have a great communication. We can talk. I'm a very busy person. But sometimes, you know, maybe we find times where we talk on the weekend. Mm. We can just about everything. We talk. We don't even have to talk about anything romantic. And I like that. I have guy friends who there's nothing romantic going on. Mm. Now, when you now start doing those things like, you call me in the middle of the night and expect me to pick. Why? Wait. I won't answer. Then I'll get a text. Heartbreak. Uh Oh. Wait. I'm like, what's up? I miss my friend. Oh, sorry, I've just been busy. What's up? Are you good? Are you, is everything okay with you? Then we start talking. It's like, oh, you didn't call me. You didn't, wait, you didn't call me. And I'm like, I had to say this. I thought, when you say these things, you're joking, right? It's like, nah, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Okay, so, but we're friends, right? Yeah. Why do I have to check in with you? I'm, I'm not checking, asking you what you're up to. Or what right, you're, you right. know. So I feel like he likes the idea of me. Yeah. But he's not ready to do the work. Right. That requires him to be no, that's, with me. It's also just a very childish way of communicating as well. And it's very needy. Yeah. That's a childish, needy person. And I'd rather sorry. just leave it that. Yeah, I don't yeah, want to be yeah, the yeah, one to yeah, drag yeah, out yeah, anything yeah, from your yeah, mouth. Because you don't want any... Also, you should be... The guy should be a bit too busy to be always... Uh, you didn't call me... No, in fairness, it's not like he does that all the time. Okay. It's like, you know, when we speak, you... Well, I, I'm in my friend moments. Wig off, lashes off... Just so if his guy's your friend, yeah, no, he's not allowed. <laughs> no, so but then I he's feel like he allowed. likes me, but he just doesn't know how to to. Oh, and then he's not going to watch this. I know I'm talking. That's about what I'm him. saying. Are you guys still friends? Because yeah. if you are, sorry. Oh so, yeah, and then maybe this is a boot you need. Like if if you. But want... are you interested in him? I like our friendship, and I I will tell you what this situation is teaching me. Yeah. I like that there's nothing between us. And I like that it's also shown me another side to dating. How long have you guys been friends for? A while now. Okay. I'll tell you what I mean. 
I'm used to showy, showy flowers. Waking up with morning, baby. Let's go on holiday. <laughs> and I miss the opportunity to be friends with a person. Yes. But on this end, I'm not saying anything is going on there. Okay. I am totally, this is one person I am totally myself with. Mm -hmm. It's not Farouk, guys. Before I start seeing people right, thinking, because Farouk right. is like my G. Nah, uh -huh. nah. Oh my God, I know this is going to be like, I feel bad for this guy. Because it's not <laughs> going to be something that people are going to talk about. No, but then if nothing happens, I'm good. Like, he's my, he's my homie. He's you know homie. what I mean? And I feel like this is not him. In my next relationship, this is what I'm looking for. Okay. I feel like I want someone to know so, me. So, talk about this thing about it is the... So a you lot think of that times, flexible, the flexible, the prophecy, you think that this might be the guy? No, I'm not saying that. I do not, I, that prophecy was not me. <laughs> no, you no, prophecy, prophecy, I'm, I'm saying, saying that. Is. You know when I hear the word oh, that yeah, God yeah. said, you need to be flexible. Also, why don't, you, why don't we look at our people that I'm, we're most comfortable with? Why are we always overlooking these people that we feel at home with? Because I feel like he doesn't do anything remember romantic. What, remember what we talked about how you said you had a friend and your friend was very practical when she got married? Yeah. And it's important that sometimes we need to really look at the facts. Like, write a character list of this person. Character. I'm not talking about your feelings or emotions. Yeah, I'm talking about character list. He's an idiot. I just, he makes me laugh. That's yeah. It. Is he nice? Is he kind? He is. Is he he's responsible? Kind. Does he, he do what he says he's going to do when he says it? Sometimes he forgets, but we're friends. Your but friends, he, he, exactly. He does, does he have a good relationship with his family? Oh, he like, does. That's what I'm saying. Whatever. Girl, he be sending me all the out. Whatever God, is yours. Talking so much about it, guys. Yeah. <laughs> the reason why I'm saying that is because so many times, the people that we're meant to be oh, with are around us. No, he's going to know. Listen. Well, you can edit it out if you want. <laughs> so, you know, it's all up to you. <laughs> but the people sometimes that we're supposed to be with, they're already around us. And because we're looking for this, like... God have you cannot been, make this person the world. Have you been listening to Michelle? God cannot make this person the world. No, because I tell him everything. I tell him when I, when other guys annoy me. Yeah. I'm like, this guy is such an idiot. I was talking to him, he did this. Woman, and then he will now laugh at me like, okay. you men like guys that lie to you. That's what I'm saying. Women are always overlooking the nice guys. Do I, like, the don't girls, put it in my head. He's not the The one. girls who are winning now, mm -hmm. go and look at the guys that they got married to. Then we were just like, oh, Oh, boring. Oh, nice guy. Oh, no swag. Jesus, is this swag you're going to eat when you're in your 50s and someone is not around to show up for you? Nobody's saying like you shouldn't be attracted to the person. But like, character is so important. Okay, you cannot grow character. You can grow money. You know this, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you cannot build character. Mm -hmm. Who someone is is who they are unless some sort of Miracle. The person has an ability to change on their own. Yeah, but then own. you know, you know how uh, I hear you, but I also like attraction. Yeah. Like I like. So to why? Feel like, but, but have you asked yourself why you're not attracted to him? What is? What does that say about you? No, no, you? no. I didn't say, did you even ask him if I'm attracted to him? Are you attracted to him? I haven't looked at him like That's that. That's what I'm saying. Why? Because he's my friend. Because he's not sending. He's not love bombing you. Mm hmm. So, so okay, man, they will not love bomb us forever. Oh. Okay, so I should not say too because I like love but bombing. But okay, why do you like love bombing? Because I like to feel chased. You realize that marriage, you're not going to be like chased every time. Okay, but at least let me have this memory so that when we get married and you're not chasing no. me anymore, I can be like, Talking oh, well, you want to tell me when your father met me, he jumped plenty of <laughs> don't to you talk think, to me. Don't you think that This one is so rude. You're like, you cannot return my phone call. Talk, Are you crazy? Talk that will lead. I, and I, I think that's the crazy thing. That's the problem in my head, Sha. Okay, let me tell you another thing. There are issues with the way like, the dynamics of... of the way we date in this country. That is the reason why when people not get married, they don't be like resentful towards their partners because all the calling, flowers, this, that. And I, I'm not saying that romance is not important, but love bombing is very different from romance. Mm -hmm. And that's where Nigerian men chase. They love bombers. Do, 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 do. Call you, call you, call you. The minute, go and ask my woman. The minute they get married, <laughs> the sea finish that they're showing their wives. Whereas that's life. Yeah. Everyday life, I'm, everyday I partnership. I mean, you know, I feel like this, um, let's wrap this one okay, up because I feel okay. like this was also a lesson this, that God showed me this year. I don't think this is the one. Okay. I really feel like it's a lesson because it's now also showed me what is important. Like, I hear you on every level and thank you so much for speaking to my life because you're, you're preaching to me right now. I feel like because of the fairy tale and the whoosh, whoosh, whoosh and the love yeah. bombing, sometimes I don't develop real friendships. For sure. And because of who I am and how hard we've had to work and how... I know I've built walls around me mm -hmm. and I'm looking forward to someone who I can be myself with yeah. and not have to feel, do you know what I mean? Not this guy, because this guy is like my friend. Don't right. worry. Like, not interested. I'm just saying that because I don't want him to now start catching you. 
feeling yourself when you watch this and think that I'm literally feeling you. Nah. Okay. Um, <coughs> girl, why are you? Oh no, it's after once the camera is stopped rolling, I'll see what I'll say with my phone, my chest. Continue now. <laughs> Wrap Please, up the show. Don't, don't do this. I just feel like I'm, I'm now looking forward to, I've, I, I, I envy or when I see people that have friendships, I need that. Talking you know about what I mean? parents. I want my someone... parents are together and they're best friends. Yeah, like I want a best friend. They're friends. friends. Yeah. At the end of the day, it is the core of their friendship. It's this laughter that in your old age, you look at each other. The other day, my, they were joking about which part of their body hurts because of old age. And they were just laughing about it. Wow. And, you know, they like... My dad, parent, they're polar opposites. My dad's a huge extrovert. My mom's an introvert. They both do have their own lives, do their own things in terms of like, my dad loves to go out, loves to go to poetry nights, jazz clubs, all that. My mom is like a prayer warrior, polar opposite, but they're friends. Mm. And the reason why they were able to do that was because my mom always says that it was for them. You know, my dad was a diplomat, so they used to live in different countries. Mm. So it was just the two of them. There was no, there was nobody else that he was going to go out to go and see. When you're in Belgium and you don't really have anybody else, oh boy, you duke it out. Yeah. Now, not everyone's going to have that experience, but a lot of relationships, the reason why there's so much brokenness, people don't have friends. You had a guy that chased you, chased you, chased you, chased you, chased you. He got you. It's over. And there's no Your substance. marriage, there's no yeah. substance. Yeah. You don't even know the person. Yeah. All you used to ask you was, have you eaten? No, he will send you food. Okay, now you're in the same house. Where's my food? <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, I, I feel you. I, 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 honestly, I feel you. Because I also feel like in one hand, we know it's like, oh, yeah, 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 we're friends. And then the other day, even like when I got like a whole album of his family, I was like, why are you sharing this with me? And he's like, well, you now know everybody in my family. And I'm like, girl, he's dropping hints. He dropping hints. Yeah. But I don't like guys who drop hints. I, I don't I do that. On that. I don't do he that. Come out and I would say rather it. you be like, and if you but come he out- did say that he wanted to build a friendship that all, what are you talking about? Oh my gosh, he likes you. He said all good things start with a friendship. Yeah. Oh, but that's please. what some people, they, 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 uh, everybody says, people can say that. <laughs> like, girl. Okay, comment down below, guys. Does he like her? Yes or no? <laughs> Let us know. Okay. On that note, I'm speechless and I'm never really speechless. Can't wait to tell me tell, for you to tell me who this actually is. <laughs> you would actually be start cursing yourself when I tell you the person. Because ah! <laughs> you'll be like, no, no, no. So everything you say, you'll be like, no, 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 no. It's the person we spoke about the other day. Who did we talk about the other day? God, I just is so long. Which context? Which one? Which list? Yeah, I'm making me sense. I have a plenty, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm a whole. No, I'm <laughs> Because when I, whenever I have to catch up with Tucker, she's like, guys? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I am who I am. Yeah, so whatever. That one. I'm blanking. Oh, my God. Don't blank. Who did I speak about to you most recently? I don't know. The one that you said you have to send me books to read because you feel like I'm too... Oh, girl, No. <laughs> No. <laughs> I nope. Knew I knew you were going to say that. Nope. Crazy. Oh my God. This is the most revealing I've been on a podcast. My, my people actually now know me. I feel like this is the most revealing. I feel like should we cut out something? No. I think it's going to be good. But nope. I don't want him to now watch it. I feel like we had to talk about him. My podcast. He's not, he's, there's no way he's going to know it. He, he's actually, he's not even on. Yeah, he's not even on. Yeah, he's not on that. Radar. Mm-mm. Okay. All right. And then my other toasters. No, no. Sorry. <laughs> this person's not toasting me. It's just a friend. Oh but thank you so much for this. I this I I honestly this is how we are. I know. Do you know what I mean? And <laughs> do you know how we literally have to like, deliberately get off the phone from each other? Yes, we do. do you because know that it's we just have organic. To okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay. And then we'll, we'll what, text two hours after. later. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then one thing I'm really looking forward to. I think you have such a, a big heart. I don't know how you fit in all your friends. Sometimes I feel that I'm not as good as a friend that you are to me, mm. to you. And if I am, I'm sorry. No. Because I feel like I always just dump on you. Right. And I never really take the time to be like, yo. Because, yeah, but then and I also, then you, I, you also accept me dumping because I would just go on and then I'll be like, I think I, I, I can't even lie. I think something that I really enjoy being there for my friends. Okay. And I really, really enjoy being able to process things with people. Because I also learn from people's situations. Okay. So I don't even take it like personal at all. Yeah. Like but, but I'm looking forward to you like finding love. Yeah, me too, girl. I think you deserve it. I me think too. that people don't know how much you your spiritual side is strong, yeah. which is great. You're not trying to hide that. 
but you're also a dope ass chick. Oh, thanks, babe. Like you, I know that if 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 I'm in a crazy situation, I can ring you up. Thanks, babe. And we'll be like, yeah. Oh, let's, thank let's, you. <laughs> I am a dope ass person. You are a dope ass soul. You are my thank person, so and I'm grateful for thank that. You, you, you know, you, and then you. I can't wait for 2023 for us to actually it's gonna be talk good. and be like, yeah. It's going to be good. Mentally, spiritually, higher vibrations. Good um, career t- op- opportunities. Op- opportunities. Good Letting go life. of control. Letting go me. of control. For me, I'm still working on it. Being flexible. Fair. Being flexible and trusting. Mm. Really trusting God. Mm. Mm. Like, childlike. And meeting our people. Meeting our people, girl. Yeah. I can't wait for us to go on holidays. I know. With our people. It'll be so fun. I know. It'll be so jazzy. I know. It's going to be great. I actually can't wait for the full call. I, know. Like, oh my God, I, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with you because I feel like you'll cry through that. I think call. I will. <laughs> you're crazy. <laughs> and then we can sit back and reminisce about this. One time, this is the last story I'm going to share. One time, I was totally heartbroken. Oh I rang her up uh-huh. and she's like, throw on some powder and we went out drinking and we drank so much and ate <laughs> fried plant. Was it fried yam? It was, it was, it was fried yam. It was fried yam at the with, whole night. With no sauce. Do you remember that time that we were somebody dating the same person? <laughs> I see him this day. I just carry my face. All along, you know he had a babe. All along, he had. A yes, he did have a babe. All along. I remember how we found out. Yeah, guys, no joke. So we're working together on moment. Yes, tea time. Yeah, and Bali had been telling me about this guy she met. Yeah, and I was like, oh. You know, it sounds really great. And I was like, oh, I've met someone too. Right. And we started to exchange stories. I don't even know. Okay, when you describe. No, Toke lied. Let me tell you what happened. Okay, I lied. I, I asked Toke. I was like, tell me about this guy. She omitted a very specific fact. Which because was? I think it was that he was a widow. No, that he had two children. So no, when you were missing, there was something you omitted. You never asked me about this. We didn't get the there. the next day, Holy Spirit no, convicted I think it was you. Where and you came back lived. to tell me. Or was it where he lived? He was where he lived. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I think I told lived. you, um, we both knew they were widows. Yes, they were both widows. Like, well, maybe the name I gave you. No, or something. there was something that she omitted. Then the next day, she comes back and says, Balani, this thing has been bothering me. Actually, this is where he lives. Because I asked her, I said, Toke, does he live and here? And it wasn't just you and I, yo. What was his name? No, no. There was another person. There was a third person. But and I'm not going to lie. In the same industry. No. There was. Who, who was it? I, don't I think remember. there was somebody. Okay, was it just you and I? I think it was just me. And you remember the day we found out it was the same guy? I completely remember. And you know what's crazy about this is this thing has happened to me with one of my other friends. You told me about this. Yeah, one. because yeah, that's flowers. the truth. Exactly. Like that's why it's really important that you don't see your friends, especially I don't see my friends as competition. Yeah. And we asked each other questions. Yeah. Like so Did that you, you know what's you that happening. I poured water on the guy. No. Like the next time you try to be fresh. I tossed the bottle of water. Like, are you crazy? We don't even speak. Like, ew. Ugh. And then he now used to say things like, oh, oh, gosh, the guy was so, I don't know. But then you know, at, some, at some point, I found out that there was some good in him, Sha. You didn't explore to that level, but yeah, I know. So guess what? And I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and I used to tell my friends, if you're sad, dial it, tick.com. Are you interested? Do you want? You can. We didn't get there at all. He probably had many girls calling him for the action. <laughs> Oh if this guy watches this show, do you think he would know he's the one? Yeah. Ah! Definitely. Because we've talked about it before. Well, and at least I gave him credit on the fact that he's good at eating something, which is good. Oh my God. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, so at least take your credits and go. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the new year. Yeah. <laughs> Merry, we have to say Merry Christmas. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe how expressive. I hope he's gonna. I hope he, maybe, maybe they'll edit that part out. I don't care. If they do. okay. I mean, he's, I, we gave him some credit. I, sorry for tossing what in your face, but you didn't tell me that part. So I did. I, I told you now. Nah, uh, I told you that even after I found that, like I, I continued to see him because that part was good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah. also, like, we weren't really talking anymore as well. I remember that. you and him. I think you just yeah. cut him off when I you found him out, off, yeah. and then I tossed one, but he, the nigga was still calling me, and then he was good for that one thing. And I used to share it with my like people. Like I'll tell my girls, like if you're sad, I ain't mad. Call him. Like he, he gonna make you feel good. And some did of them did. No. And they got back with receipts. No. <laughs> I'm not high-fiving you. <laughs> Why? What's the what? big deal? We're not interested. We Wait, knew he was a liar. Did they know him from anywhere? No. It's like dialetic.com. If you're sad. I thought she was joking. I, 
If you're sad, like, why do guys always feel like they're the ones that can use us? If you're sad, like, everybody knew what it was. Wait, and he would answer that? No, but he, they won't, he won't know they're from me. So some of the uh, girls he'd been with, like, some of them might just hit him up and then they'll start talking. And that's how to that he he's okay, also kind of like, uh-huh. Okay, okay, I thought, okay. And okay, then okay. I had, like, two friends come back to give me testimony, like, ah, you're so, you're so right. <laughs> I said, just don't get digmatized, shall <laughs> And on that note, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. And all the best in 2023. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>